Out of all the Victoria Three countries that we've done so far, nothing says freedom, equality, and justice as well as... <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're playing as Persia today, so... um. Everything I said, except the opposite, my boys. Not only that, but we're also gonna be spreading the good joy and love around the world today with the cunning use of opium. That's right, we're gonna make sure that we become the world's leading producer of opium, and we're gonna spread opium to the Europeans. We're gonna actually make the Europeans buy our super cheap opium, and maybe even get them addicted to it. You don't know what I'm talking about. Well, if you go to your cultures, and then you hover over each culture, you will see that every culture has something they're obsessed with, and something that is taboo. So that means if they have an obsession with a certain good, they will be more predisposed to consuming that good if they have a taboo then that means they will be more predisposed to not consuming that particular good for example Persians here they don't like liquor and wine same goes for Azerbaijanis and uh, Kurds actually pretty much all of the Muslims I'm noticing here but the Mashrikis are obsessed with coffee so that means that they will be using a lot of extra coffee and producing a lot of coffee for the Mashrikis is beneficial for us Assyrians on the other hand have no obsessions or taboos I I think right now the main culture obsessed with the opium is Han Chinese because of you know the Brits doing their thing over there but that being said Persia at the start is not the greatest of places we don't even have any construction sectors we gotta actually build our first construction sector we're gonna do that here we're actually gonna start with five construction sectors in our capital and after that's done we're gonna also start building everything else because we don't even have tooling workshops food industries paper mills none of the stuff that is absolutely easy essential for any nation at the beginning same goes for the rural part we mainly are producing right now opium and wheat that's it we're the biggest producer of wheat and opium in this region also want to mention that harvesting tools we're not changing to just yet until we actually have a tooling workshop done so that means we'd go into a pretty significant deficit so let's build one tooling workshop in the queue one paper mill in the queue for that matter and one uh food industry later we can build the rest of the stuff we just need to get a little bit at least of each product. We don't even have coal, iron, lead, or sulf mines. What the schnapps is going on in this country, man? Seriously. <laughs> How do they even exist? So yes, of course, also queue up all of these bad boys. One of each for now, because we want to get a little bit of everything, right? And then we produce more as we go along. If you produce too much of one good and you don't have any of the other good from the start, then you're going to end up in a pretty significant deficit and you're going to destroy your economy. So just listen to what I'm saying here, okay? Just build one of each. Tech-wise, once more, <laughs> we're pretty far behind everybody else. We're going to go for Academia and then Romanticism because we we want to get the greener grass campaign that I was covering with my elbow because I'm just Chad like that. I'm just kidding. I apologize. Please don't unsubscribe. I'm just joking. I know you're not yet subscribed. And that's why I poisoned one of your fruits. If you want to find out which one I poisoned, you got to subscribe and then I'll let you know. You know what? If you don't want to, it's fine. I'm not forcing you. But remember, you'll never know which one it is, will you? You always have that doubt at the back of your mind, my boy. Always. Them feels when regular channels ask you to smash that subscribe button and then Ludi be like I poison your fruit <laughs> YouTube please it please don't demonetize me I love you <laughs> We apparently don't have many situations right now. Only issue we got is with taxation capacity reduction in Tabriz. Because Tabriz is actually our biggest state population-wise. It's giving us minus 20% tax collection right now. So in order to fix that, we just gotta increase our government administration by, I think, one or maybe two. That's not gonna take much priority for me right now. Because I need to declare war on my neighbors. The reality is that at the start, the Russians are gonna be busy consolidating their uh, colonial holdings in the Kazakh land. And that's our our opportunity to take over Kiva, Bukhara, Kokand, and Afghan and all of the schnapps here. The longer we wait for this, the harder it's going to be. And the sooner we take this, the sooner we can also consolidate the Arabian lands, maybe take a little bit of the Ottomans. You can see exactly which areas you can actually produce opium in. There's some areas we can produce, but predominantly it's in northern India and the southern bits of China that you can actually produce a massive amount. Plus, there's a few extra provinces in Egypt where we can produce more. But I personally think 
think that this particular area that I'm highlighting right now is more than enough to get a massive base going for our plantations. Reality is we only need like four or five hundred plantations to destroy the world's economy by making everybody an opium addict. I said it. I'm the CIA. What? No. Sh uh, I'm sorry. Please NSA agent, don't don't come to my door again. I love you. I have to say that everything mentioned about CIA and NSA is a joke. They totally did not create a drug epidemic to control the people in the United States. Is that, is that good? Them looty jokes getting more cringe by the day, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing. I'm gonna save my game and I'm gonna try and uh, vassalize Afghanistan. It can happen that somebody will join on their side. Sometimes somebody does, sometimes nobody does. So I'm just gonna reload until I'm able to actually vassalize Afghanistan. It is what it is. It's pretty vital that I get these guys early on. Mobilazonski, let's go to the border. And I can offer obligation to the East India Company. Let's see if that uh, brings them over to our side. It does! Oh! Oh! I can even get the Brits on my side. What do they want? Ban slavery. Hell yeah! I don't even want them to have slavery. Wait, do I have slavery? I have slavery? What? Oh no, I need to change that. That's bad. Also, I need to get dedicated police force. Let's go. This is pretty much my favorite initial institution to get as almost every country, really. Alright, we got two great powers on our side. They have nobody. They got some schnitzeldorfs around them. Wait, 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 wait. No! I should have added a war goal for that schnitzeldorf. Oh, that was Kalat. I should have taken Kalat. Kalat too. Well, that was a mistake on my side. Let's get a second general because we're gonna need an extra boyo over here to help defend our front line. Go over there, my boy. And it looks like we actually have war with the Afghanis. They're not wussies like most of the nations I've had to fight before in most of my playthroughs. Afghans got a lot of guts, my boys. They definitely have a lot of guts, that's for sure. But they're getting their asses kicked. I just feel bad that I didn't include, um... Kalat or Balachistan here. Should have just annexed both of these. That would have been perfect right there. 79, 52. We're easily winning this, obviously. This is not even any sort of a challenge. Economically, though, it is giving us a little bit of a hit here. We are using a lot of money on buying wood for construction. Uh, you know what? Let me fix that, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna build more logging camps. Let's max out the amount of logging camps that we can get in Irakan and Kordasan. Hell, screw it. I'm building all of the logging camps. 37 logging camps. Wood's gonna help out the entire game, and we might as well just build it, right? Hallelujah, hallelujah, we vassalized Afghanistan. Beautiful. In just one year, we doubled in size because Afghanistan's got like 5 million pops. They go 4 million pops, and we have 6 million. We didn't double, but we increased by 40%, so not bad, right? 40? Is it like 70%? Mathematics has never been my strong suit. People that watch this channel know that by now. <laughs> Religious schools. Well, that never did anything bad in Iran, did it? Religious schools? No, it did. It did a lot of bad shit. Maybe it's not such a good idea in real life. Maybe we should keep religious schools in video games, right? Yes, we should. I just realized I forgot to set up my consumption taxes. Let's go with services as always. Opium, of course, for all them uh, drug addicts. They gotta give me my cut, of course. Government gets a cut of the drug deals, right? Right? I'll shut up now. Luxury clothes also. <laughs> and the rest of the authority points we're gonna use for greener grass campaigns. Once we have that unlocked, we're researching it right now, actually. And I'm until that time, we can set up some resource industry edicts and wherever we're building stuff, we can use the road maintenance edicts for the time being. Also, let me not forget, I want to tax the schnapps out of everybody. 10% Shia Ulema's political strength. I forgot to check what my government looks like. So I got Shia Ulema and I have the landowners. Oof, that is a terrible combination there. I'm gonna have to reform this. They're not giving me anything to work with, so let's go ahead with that reform I'm talking about. Armed forces. Hmm. It's gonna lower my legitimacy by a bit, but I'm happy with it because it's gonna give me access to a few other things here, like professional army that I obviously also want. So let's try and enact that. Let's see how that goes. Omani Laristan seems to be um, the wrong name of this province. The real name is Persian Laristan, clearly. Mobilizationski aber un the uh, Stecken on the Bordernstein. And I can get Baluchistani Treaty Port. Is that the one province they have in Gwadar? <laughs> I don't mind getting that, actually. Nobody's gonna support them, and I'm fairly certain they're gonna give up, and they're just gonna give me this directly. But let's see, you never know. Come on, give me what I want, boys. Wait, what? They're actually gonna fight me? Hold on a second. How come they're fighting me? They should be scared schnappless of me, dude. What? Are they saying that Persian armies are not great with some schnapps? 
Oh my god, Persia, you're ho Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Afghanistan, you're embarrassing me. Cause stop. Stop it, Afghanistan. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. <laughs> we need to win this. Okay, there you go. Afghanistan just redeemed itself. They did win a battle. And we also are advancing with our uh, military tech. That's great. We're gonna need to get line infantry so we can get above the uh, irregulars that we're at right now. I just realized we do not have any fleet. And we got greener grass campaign. Let's uh, switch over the agricultural thing to greener grass. The road maintenance also. I want to get greener grass in every single state. An easy way to do that is to go to your political lens, decrees, click on greener grass and just set it up everywhere that you need to set it up in. I'm gonna cancel this one here and we can set it up in one more province. Absolutely amazing. We're also reaching our gold reserve here. So we need to start investing more in our country. Let's uh, see where we at with our mines and stuff. I'm gonna switch on over to iron frame buildings. It will tank my economy a little bit, but it's also gonna encourage me to build more iron mines and tooling workshops so I can actually produce stuff. So I'm gonna change what I initially wanted to do where I was building a lot of um, lumber mills and instead I'm gonna be building some more iron mines. Seems like I need to build a uh, naval base to do a naval invasion on Oman. It's stuck at zero war support right now. I actually need to invade them if I'm gonna continue this war and actually enforce my war deal. Time to also queue up a few more tooling workshops. Let's say five of them for the time being and I'm out clicking so I can bring him up at the top of the queue. Recrutius Admiralius. This guy seems like the man for the job. Naval invasion time. Let's go Oman. Mohamed Shemahi. Go. And guess what boys? Oman has uh, a fleet. They have three ships so they kicked my fleet's ass. I need to get more ships than them. I'm, gonna, I'm building an extra four naval bases so I get up to five ships. I also had to build one port in Fars because I was not getting any convoys for my navy and you know you need convoys for your navy. Also my economy is absolute dog schnapps so I'm gonna pause any sort of construction for the time being so I can recover this economy a little bit and then after the war is over it's gonna be a lot better. After a ridiculously long war we did manage to enforce our deal here so we got the port and we also got Laristan fully under control. Not even sure how Oman managed to get the coastline here historically speaking but it's just a weird ass thing to see and I'm glad I got rid of it. Wow our bureaucracy deficits giving us 45% tax waste. That is huge. Speaking of huge, per capita taxation is going to fix a lot of issues that we have. The bigger issues are going to be fixed by us getting rid of slave trade. So um, let's see how I'm going to make that happen because, you know, the biggest supporters of that is my biggest political party. We're also going to be queuing a ton of livestock factories. So let's say like uh, five, six livestock factories. And by factories, I mean farms. Why did I just say factories? What's wrong with you? As well as some rice farms where we can in Mazandran, wheat farms. I'm trying to get as much agricultural going right now since one of my biggest issues is that I don't have much of the base economy that means the base raw goods that everybody needs in order to survive let's not forget to also build more government administration buildings in Tabriz I should have prioritized this I forgot about the tax collection debuff that we start with here but let's build two more over there before anything else sometimes when you really need to you can also pause construction in order to wait for your economy to recover that's what I'm doing I pause my construction so I'm getting money enough to pay off my credit so that I can start constructing again and after that payment is a little bit done. I'm obviously not going to pay for all 1.6 million credit here, but let's say once it reaches 1 million credit, I can use the construction function again and continue to build the farms and so on. Because end of the day, the way that you develop a country is from having debt, from continuously investing in that country. Also be extremely careful, guys. Whenever you start getting new technology, you might get your economy to tank if you don't know what you're doing. So for example, we just researched soil enrichment farming, which is obviously better than the initial method of production but because we're not producing any fertilizers right now it would completely destroy our economy to switch over all of our farms to uh, the soil enrichment farm so before we change to that production method we actually need to build chemical plants at least one or two chemical plants before we make the switch and it's not just for this in uh, particular it's for all goods and all production methods before you switch over to a new production method make sure that you have the necessary input goods for that new production method and I'm noticing the Russians are expanding into the Kazakh lands 
Ooh, I really, really want to attack the Kievans right now. They have genial... Oh, man, I hate when this happens. I guess I'm going to have to get an alliance with them and um, attack them later. Yeah, I guess that's the play. Get the alliance, attack them later. This way I prevent the Russians from attacking Kiva and I can take the other two nations out like Bukhara and so on. Bukhara's got one state, right? Only Samarkand, if I'm not mistaken. So I can just go for conquest of state. 22 infamy, what? Hold up a second here. 1.95 million population. Okay, that's why. That's a pretty big state. Let's set our boyos by the border with them. And yes, I did destroy most of my uh, ships because I don't need them right now. I just needed them for the war with Oman. If I keep them when I don't need them, I'm just wasting money, honestly. Oh, Tajikistan joined. Let's uh, conquer Tajikistan, I guess. Conquer state, conquer state. Not bad. We can also call these guys in, offer them obligations. I don't think I have enough maneuvers, do I? I don't. Wait, did I get it? Oh my god, they just gave up without a fight? Wow, that is so stupid. I cannot believe Bukhara gave up and freaking Oman actually fought me, bro. Alright, well, let's go with Tajikistan in that case. Conquer state, 10 infamy, shkubabadabu, not too bad. And let's do the second state. Might as well get rid of everybody here, right? Whilst we're at it. Mobilizationski, Abba Unze Borderstein. And I think I'm gonna get a second in general too. Yeah, let's get one for Central Asia since we took some parts of Central Asia. We might as well use those boys against their own people. I'm also doing this right now because I know for a fact Russia is not going to get involved since they are at war with the Kazakhs. So it is the best time to do this. Otherwise, the Russians would 100% get involved when I'm attacking nations right next to them. Wait, what? Kiva's joining their side now? Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. Holy snaps. All right, I should have paid attention. All right, let me... uh. <laughs> change things in that case. Let's get a second general for the Persian theater because we're going to need to split our Persian troops now. Mobilize, get over here, and let's also upgrade the second general to level three. And considering the situation, I'm going to activate conscripts now. I'm going to need these extra conscripts to help me out on the war. If I saw this, I could have added more war goals so I can take out all of Kiva as well, but I didn't pay attention. I'll be honest. I, I actually did just, I was five speeding looking at my uh, buildings and stuff, and I didn't realize that Kiva joined on their side. I thought they were going to join my side because you know they're my allies they used to be all right that was a fairly quick war in uh, the tajiki parts let's bring these boys over here to do kiva next and they automatically assign themselves to the kivan areas nice oh that's actually afghanistan's arm afghanistan's winning the war for me bro best vassal ever holy snaps they're absolutely ravaging the deserts over here in kiva and we got the war goal noise so kiva you bastards for what you did i'm gonna begin damaging relations and attacking you. we also are infamous 40 three aggressive expansion so i'm gonna chill for a bit i don't want to do any more expanding for a while we got quite a few new provinces here kalat and makran as well as sind and uh Sikh empire are on the table but after we finish with uh, a little bit fixing my economy and improving our gdp we only have 8 million that's pretty pathetic not gonna lie we're 36th when it comes to gdp behind mexico even come on let's make sure that we have the right production methods now that we've taken all of these new lands and it looks like the russians just took a bunch of uh, Kazaki lands. They've consolidated. I'm not happy seeing that. That is not beautiful at all. <laughs> Having a massive Russia. To oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Prussia, what the schnapps is going on here? The Prussians are going full Schnitzeldorf, dude. They got a massive war. Hold up a second. I want to see what this is about. Conquest of Oldenburg, and they're fighting the Russians for that and the French. Uh, okay, good luck with that, Prussia. Our economy is definitely on the right track, so let's go ahead and build five more construction sectors up next and we're also in the process of researching railroads this is vital right now since we have a lot of market access issues in mazandran for example time for a quick cheeky war against macron if with a little bit of luck they might actually give up because no one's actually supporting them and they barely have any units how many units they got they got 10 battalions 100 percent they're gonna give up if they don't give up that's gonna be weird as snaps oh somebody's supporting them hold up a second who is that they went up to 20 that's kalat oh beautiful let's uh conquer all of kalat that way we get all of Baluchistan. How many Tajikis do we have in our country? We only have 300,000 Tajiks and they're rebelling already? Freaking hell, bro. What the snaps? And they gave up. I knew they would give up. And uh, Booyah Snoky boys, we got atmospheric engine pumps, meaning we're gonna get a lot more production out of our mines now. But it also means we need to increase the amount of coal that we're producing. So let's go and uh, set up an extra 10 coal mines in Laristan. In case you're wondering, and I know most of 
you already know this by now, but all of these countries end with Stan because Stan is from Farsi, if I'm not mistaken, Persian that is, and it means land. So it's like Pakistan means land of the Pakis, Afghanistan, land of the Afghanis, Tajikistan, land of the Tajikistanis, Virgin Stan is you. So you get what I'm saying here, right? All right, we killed the revolutionary of Afghanistan apparently in uh, Tajiki land. Same for iron mines. We're going to build eight more in Isfahan and another five in Baluchistan. We're basically going up to maximum in Baluchistan. Sadly, Baluchistan is not massive because we still need the rest of it in uh, Kalat, which of course is our next target. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, of course, we have cooperative attitude with them. So we have to decrease our relations before we can attack them. Such a weird, weird system, isn't it? Where we have to literally destroy relations with nations because before we can attack them. <laughs> hey, we got railroads. Beautiful. Let's uh, set up canneries next and let's start building our railroads. We desperately need these bad boys, especially Mazandran and Fars. Let's actually alt click this as well as Laristan apparently. Oh no, the Brits are invading Oman. Oh, I hate it when the British go full on historical. This is horrible. They're taking my lands. Oman is rightful Persian land. Get out of here, Britain. Oh, this is disgusting. Disgusting. They actually puppeted them, didn't they? What's going on here? They are a dominion of the British. Oh, no. I should have done this myself. I should have attacked them. I regret not attacking now. Oh, I need to be a bit more aggressive, don't I? At least to consolidate my grief, I am able to get uh, Kiva up next. So we got that going for us. Nobody help them, please. Nobody help them, please. Nobody help Kiva. I please you. Please. Arigato gozaimasu. Hey, that's um, that's a Persian song right there. And let's go to arms. Afghanistan, go. Go, my Afghani boyos. Kill, kill everything. I'll give you some opium if you do. Ah, that was the fastest war in the history of warfare, apparently. Hey, look how beautiful we're now, boys. Big name on the map. That's what it's about in PDX games, y'all. Aber unsere Inkorporationenstein? And let's also attack Halad before the British attack them. Come on, I still have good relations with you, you bastard. Can I just... Oh, wait, I forgot. I can uh, expel diplomats. There you go. That's gonna... Oh, God, that increases my infamy by 10. No, no, I don't want to do that. Let's see how everyone's coping around the world. Europe looks pretty much untouched, actually. I don't even know what the Prussians did there, because they didn't even take... No, they did take Oldenburg, my bad. No, actually they didn't. They took Bremen. Oldenburg split between radicals and, uh, well, proletarians and uh, non-proletarians, I guess. US, as always, is Cancer Gore. And South America is literally the same as in every single game. France, as always, killing off everybody in Africa. And the most cursed of things, Russia colonized Sakhalin in Hokkaido. I am not surprised at all. I am surprised by Van Diemen's Land. What? I don't think I've ever seen Van Diemen, I think that was Tasmania, right, um, take over the rest of Australia. That's really interesting to see. They have a wary attitude of us. Why? You're all the way in Australia. I'm not gonna even get close to you, boys. Hey, we can ban slavery. Hails to the Yama boys. Oh no, the landlords. The landlords are not happy. Wait, schnapps. Wait, wait, wait. Revolution to enact agrarianism. I guess I have to enact agrarianism now before I uh, ban slavery. Otherwise, my country's gonna get destroyed. I might be biting a little bit more that I can chew, but if I take lands from the Sikh Empire, I get to be a Sikh Persia. <laughs> get it? Because I'm taking Sikh Empire lands? Okay, final stop. Making the Sikh jokes! <laughs> And it looks like Kalat once more wants to get in the war. Let's take Baluchistan. Please don't tell me the Sikh Empire is going to give in again. Please don't say that because I want to take Kalat. Because I cannot attack him directly since uh, Kalat's got two good relations with me, apparently. Oh, it actually looks like we might be going to war now. Oh, my boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just like a few more days. Eh, hey, hey, sick time, boys. It's a sick time. Wait, what? We're losing? Um, hold up. I didn't, I didn't count on this bit here. <laughs> come on, Afghanistan. Kill these guys quickly so we can, uh, you know, be broskies killing off Kalat together. I mean, Sikh Empire together. Oh no, we're actually winning still. Boom, we got the land we wanted from the Sikh Empire. Now we just gotta get Kalat and that should be fairly easy. To take the rest of the Sikh Empire is a great idea since they have 14 million population in this one province of Punjab. But uh, honestly, I got a lot of land right now. I don't really need to expand anymore for, say, the next 20 years because I have enough land to start building up my infrastructure 
infrastructure to start building up my production and once I have all of that production established and ready I can expand more if I need to but personally I think this is enough land for me to become the world's greatest power GDP wise and plus it looks pretty cool I mean look at that it's, it's like a square with a little bit of a pee, -pee sticking out into the Ottoman Empire's bottom right once more let's redo our production methods now that we've uh, achieved expansionarium because I don't really have too much of a population 11 million 12 million is not that much I'm gonna use rail transportation to make up for the lack of pops and uh, I'm gonna make sure that most of my population is producing stuff not transporting stuff from one place to another it's time to ramp up our production I've queued up about 15 extra construction sectors this way we're gonna be able to build things a lot faster since we're not expanding much right now it is best to start building things a lot faster and after we finish these construction sectors we got a lot of coal mines textile mills chemical plants furniture manufacturers and then we'll follow that up with iron mines and then after opium plantations which is the main goal of today but we don't obviously want to start with the opium because we need to get our economy running from the base up and then after add a sprinkle of opium on top of that and make that our primary goal for exporting it into the rest of the world so at this point we've basically maxed out most of our mines and we're waiting for them to get filled up with population don't forget to also check the market see what you want to prioritize for your domestic market and what you want to prioritize for export because this will definitely give you a boost to your economy and it's worth checking this once in a while so right now pretty much everything except iron apparently is good well sugar too is good to keep for our internal use and look at our income just go up massively by simply clicking a few things here and there take note this does fluctuate a lot so make sure you do this every few years because sometimes you might need to keep more steel on your market sometimes you might need to export it more and we managed to modernize the arsenal giving us plus 20 percent migration traction that's really good i like that event seems like we have a little bit of a steel shortage so let's build a few more steel mills let's say an extra 10 in tabriz or let's do 9 so we get up to a maximum of 10 right now. We have a lot of population in Tabriz, but that's not the case in most places. Irakajimi and most other areas are basically lacking any sort of population, which is why I'm trying my best to attract as many people to immigrate to our lands as possible. But you know, it's kind of hard telling them, yo, immigrate to uh, Persia. It's a nice place there. They got opium plantations. 1875, and we already are the sixth great power according to GDP we're above the Americans above the Prussians even above the Russians I actually had to integrate Afghanistan because I ran out of population and I need population to work in my factories so now I basically queued up glassworks paper mills and chemical plants in the former Afghanistan provinces which is where I have still a little bit of population left I really feel like it's time for me to start expanding into the rest of India to get the other population that's you know loitering around those lands over there you guys have no idea how difficult it was for me to ban slavery 1881 is really late in my opinion I tried to ban it like seven times I almost got a rebellion from the landlord so I had to cancel it super happy to see that eventually I did manage to ban slavery here now it's time for that war I was talking before against the sick empire time to make them healthy again <laughs> get it Healthy cuz cuz they're sick. Get up, Bloody. Your jokes suck, bro. I do have better units. I got skirmish infantry right now, so considerably better than the uh, very likely line infantry that Punjab has. Okay, they just gave me the stuff. Now it just looks horrible. Looks so border gorish, dude. I hate border gore. Oh my god, my population just went to 33 million. And guess what? Unincorporated population is 19 million. That means there's 15 million here. Oh god. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick, guys. 1,700 bureaucracy to incorporate this? What? Okay, that's gonna take a while. And it is time for the largest opium expansion in the history of opium expansions, which, you know, it's a pretty significant history, let's face it. We're gonna build 300 opium plantations right now. And yes, most of these are being built in Afghanistan as well as uh, Pakistan, the Pashtun area here too. We're doing it regionally. 
finally, let's say. Oh, forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned. I have attacked sinned to be more precise lord so through the persistent building of opium plantations we've become the world's greatest power according to gdp surpassing the great ching great britain and the french and we are absolutely rolling in money right now plus there's a few outbreaks of opium addictions in Europe, which may or may not be our fault, so I would like to apologize for that, but hey, it is what it is. It's a game, okay? If you guys enjoy this playthrough, if we get 6,000 likes, I plan on covering Mexico with a really special strat. And until the next time, check out this amazing Japan run. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. I would not be able to do this without all your support.